Hi, this is Lady Lex UK and this is a Dreams Tools tutorial. We're going through Sculpt Mode and its tool section and we've got to the last two tools which is Crop and Cut Out. Um, they are very similar tools but they do slightly different functions but I'm going to use them in combination to make our prop here. So I've got myself a cube and what I would like this to be um, is an arrow shape. So what I'm going to do is um, go into Tools and I'm going into Crop. And I'm going to take my shape here. I'm just going to elongate that a bit. And I'm going to cut that corner out. So here we have an opaque um, sculpt. Now we can't get a opaque sculpts uh, in the Dreamverse for us to use. Uh, in play mode. Um, don't understand why because here is an opaque shape. Um, so it is possible for um, them to give us opaque shapes but uh, they haven't at the moment. Anyway, um, I'm digressing. Like, So I'm going to make this, I'm going to cut this corner off. So you have to be scoped into the shape that you want to um, crop. So I'm going to go X like that and anything that was inside that I could see remains and everything that um, was outside that and was opaque has been removed. Now if you imagine if you were trying to do this with um, the ordinary tool, so if you used um, just a stamp shape and made it um, cut you would need two of these in order to get that that arrow shape and it's hard to get it uh, even and um, the same angle so this is a much better way of, of making that shape now I can uh, make this more of an arrow I can cut it out here like this or I can use the cutout tool so again it's gone opaque so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lengthen this and I'm going to take out that and I'm going to come over this side and I'm going to take out that and then I'm going to make it bigger like that and now you can see we've got I haven't done that very even so I think we are done but there we go you would do that much even, much more even than I've done it. Uh, I can now delete these two pieces that I don't need, or you can keep them for other things. But there you go, I've got an arrow, and it's it's really quickly made using the cutout and the crop tools. Let's just see. I can move the crop tool if I like. I didn't get it quite even, but now I can move it. Um, so you can grab the shape like so. There we go, that's much more even. And there we have our arrow. So that's what they can do. And um, you can get some really interesting shapes. So if I go into, I'll take um, a cone, for example. Um, and we'll go into uh, crop. And as you can see, because I'm not scoped in, it's not going to opaque, so nothing's going to happen. Now you've got to scope in, so that's L1 and X. And now we've got that opaque shape. And now you can see I've managed to cut out a sort of anvil shape with a circular. So really good for making like a hammer or uh, an axe shape. And we've got a nice interesting curve on that. Now that would be difficult to do. Uh, by hand using the stamp remove so it's it, it's really good you can just get some really interesting curved shapes um, if we take the sphere here um, I can round off that edge like that that so it's worth playing about with 
Now the other thing that the cutout tool is very good for is for making broken objects. Now this is what I suggest uh, if you make a broken object. We're just going to use a cube for now. So this this is our the object we want to um, break. Let's say you've got a uh, game mechanic where you hit it with a uh, an axe or something. Um, so I'm going to make a copy of this block and I'm going to cut this one up. So I'm going to go into cut out mode. I'm going to scope in and I'm just going to randomly break it up into bits like this. And then we'll make the what I should have done and I didn't do beforehand. Let's stop that <laughs> to start again. Okay, before you before you cut it up. <laughs> right, you've cloned it. Then you make it movable. Then you cut it up into bits. Uh, try and get it so that there's some odd shapes at the bottom. like that and as you can see that breaks up like that look at that I seen lots of little pieces so what you would do um, is when as you can see you can see all these cut lines which is a bit of a dead giveaway now in your game it might be a good idea to have it as a dead giveaway that this is a breakable object but that's not always the case so if you want it to be a surprise that it breaks then you need a copy of the uncut object and then your cut object and what you do is um, once you've uh, hit this a few times you then destroy this and emit this at the same position and then it looks as if you've broken it it looks as if you've cracked it open like so um, you might want to um, when you admit it at, at an angle that um, is maybe slightly up and, and uh, slightly up and maybe at an angle and then it will sort of hit the floor and explode or you could set a force applier in that to actually explode the pieces about if that's what you want but you need to make them all movable so that they collapse like this and that's how you do it so that's it really um cut out so you've got cut out shapes i mean this is great for puzzles so you could um, split these these objects around your world like this and they, they have to find them and put them together like a jigsaw it, there's lots of uh, potentials for, for cutouts and it's very good for making rubble and that sort of thing and, and pebbles and things like that you can use the cutout with a, a circular sphere and just cut loads of pebbles out of a block and there it is done so uh, experiment as always, experiment with all of these gadgets that um, I'm showing you here. But crop and cut out. Don't forget crop. Let's just go through it once more. Crop will keep the, the part that is uh, not see-through and will delete everything on the outside that uh, is see-through. While cut out will cut that shape from your object it will create a, uh, a cut out piece you'll see um, the lines there um, try that there we go there we go and then you can cut it out like that it will retain the the, the bit that you um, cut it from so crop will delete this automatically while well, cut out will leave it and um, so it depends on whether you are sculpting a shape or um, making um, pieces out of something okay thanks for watching hope that was useful and I'll catch you in your dreams